and welcome to Letters and Numbers, a chance to engage in grand scale competitive challenges. So let's get ready to play some enormously enjoyable games with our two knowledgeable giants, Lily Serna. Hi, Richard. And David Astall. Hi, Richard. Thank you. And Lily, do you like a, a really gigantic mathematical challenge? You know I do. Um, but I find one of the tricks uh, with math solving huge mathematical problems is to think of them as uh, a kind of a cluster of smaller problems and then it makes the problem a bit more manageable. Mm, break it down. Yes. And David, uh, you know, I mean, there are some enormous words floating around. Uh, and place names too, in fact, Richard. There's uh, a place uh, name in Australia called uh, Lake Cutabata Winnacunna, which uh, <laughs> it's not in the dictionary, but it's a lovely word. You know, sometimes I ask you to spell words, sometimes I'm not going to. <laughs> That's going to be one of them. Actually, I remember as a child setting out yes. to try to learn to say a particularly long place in Wales. It was a little Welsh village right. called... Llanvaia Puthwingi Gorgeri Quindrobl Llandesilio Gorgor Goch. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> how many letters? It's a risky 47, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Let's not take the no, risk. Well done. Welcome, Lily and David, and ready to take up the challenge, our contestants. First up, our carryover champion, back for his sixth and what will be his final night, Alan Nash. Welcome back, Alan. Hi, Richard. Now, um, as you look back over these uh, these five nights so far, particular highlights or moments that um, you remember? Well, look, I, th I think I've learnt two things over the last few nights. Uh, first, that the heavyweight numbers mix is not always your friend. <laughs> and second, that every time you think there's a seven, you can rely on David to find an eight. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is pretty reliable most of the time. But you have done wonderfully well. I've got a, a couple of statistics in front of me here. Four of your five nights, you got over 50. Two of those nights, you got over 60. One of those nights, over 70. And you solved two conundrums in a flash. So you have been doing wonderfully well. We look forward to tonight. Welcome back. And tonight's challenger is sub-editor Richard Gadsby. Hello, Richard. Hi, how are you all right? I'm very well, thank you. And um, now, in your journalistic background, at, at one stage you were reporting on a, a local football team and, uh, well, there was some divided opinion about that, apparently. Yeah, that's right. It was my last time in charge uh, doing the reporting and uh, the club management sent me a surprise farewell gift on the pitch. So I went down to, uh, to receive it and uh, the man on the tannoy, working the tannoy, announced who I was. And, um, yeah, a section of the crowd started booing when they realised that they <laughs> obviously not fans. So you'd been writing some things that may not have been all that flattering. Yeah, probably a few players that they enjoyed that I might have uh, given a bit of a drub into. Well, please be kind to us tonight. Great to have you. Welcome them both, please. Carryover champion Alan Nash and challenger Richard Gadsby. <laughs> and to start with the word paints a thousand pictures as we begin with our first letters game. Alan. Off you go. Can I start with a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with P. And another consonant, please? R. And a vowel? A. And another vowel? I. And a third vowel, please? E. And a consonant? N. And another consonant? T. And another consonant, please? S. And I'll finish with a vowel, please. And last letter, A. Thank you, Lily. First thinking time. What a great start, Richard. Uh, an eight as well. An eight. Well, now, according to your theory, Alan, this means that, you know, David should have got a full Monty. <laughs> but uh, let's hold off for a moment and let's have yours first, uh, please, Richard. Uh, uh, I've got painters. And yours, Alan? Parasite. What a good start, David. Excellent. Well, tick for Parasite and well done on painters. Good find. And to keep Alan happy with his eight, I only got painter for seven, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice work. What a great start. Alan and Richard, eight each. Second letters and uh, Richard, you to choose. Um, yes, could I have a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with M. And a vowel? E. 
And a consonant, please. R. And a vowel. U. Uh, another vowel, please. A. A consonant. D. A consonant, please. T. A vowel, please. O. And a consonant, please. And last letter, W. 30 seconds. did you make from that lot, Richard? I only got five. And Alan? I've got a seven. Hold that. Let's have the five first. Uh, muted. And your seven, Alan? Outward. Happy, David? Well played, Alan. That's a good seven. Outward. Uh... And what did you reap from this little crop, well, David? I don't want to disappoint Alan, but I've only got a seven as well. With mature <laughs> is there uh, for seven also. Oh, we'll give Alan a bit of counselling. <laughs> well done. Seven points for Alan. Let's launch into our first numbers game for tonight now, where contestants, of course, have just 30 seconds to get as close to that randomly generated target number as possible. They can only use a combination of low numbers, that's 1 to 10, and the high numbers, 25, 50, 75 and 100. And, Alan, now you were saying you can't always trust a heavyweight, but what does that leave you? Well, despite what I said at the start of the show, Richard, I'll go for four large and two small, thanks, Lily. Thanks, Alan. Four large and two small... And our numbers, 1, 10, and the full large, of course, 50, 100, 25, and 75. The target to reach is 666. Interesting number. Did you go with the heavyweight? Only 675. 675, so you uh, have scraped into the scoring zone. What about you, Richard? Uh, no, I didn't manage it. Outside the scoring zone? Bad luck. So, take us there, please, Alan. Really, 10 times 50 is 500. 10 by 50 is 500. And then add the 100 and add the 75 for 675. Add the 100 and the 75 is 675. So, well done, Alan. You are there in the scoring zone. Lily, that number, did you have a devil of a time getting there? Yes, it was hellish, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> and um, here's how I did it. Uh, now, 100 minus 75 is 25. 20, uh, 25 squared is 625. Add the 50 is 675. And then take away 10 minus 1, which is 9, gives you 666. Very nice bit of work, Lily. Good stuff. But uh, Alan still scored five points. So Richard is on eight. Alan is on 20 as we head for our first break. Your first word mix for tonight is lime tang. And the clue... Glue for your bones. See you after this.